Hi guys, Mr. Ruffle Waffles here. Today I'll be translating absolutely all of the spoken Keeper language on Shadows of Evil. Compared to Apothicon, Keeper is an absolute pigsty. It's so much more confusing at first to get used to and then difficult to actually manipulate and use correctly when you're trying to translate stuff. As such, in my other video where I translated all of the Apothicon language that's spoken on Shadows and on Der Eisendrache in the boss fight, I had pretty much the hard and fast translation and there wasn't really much room for interpretation certainly with the majority of the quotes. However, with Keeper, it is possible with certain things here and there, as you'll see in this video, for different interpretations of the meaning of the grammar or of certain words to slightly change the nature of the messages themselves. So what I've done because of that is add in bits of commentary from yours truly throughout this video explaining my interpretation of certain phrases, in fact most of the phrases in the video, that I think require a little bit more context. We'll start start off really basic with the sword swing sounds. The reason they're so basic is that each time you swing the sword, it just says a number. So for example, you'll swing and it'll say Cree, which means one, or Cree low, which means one zero, etc. Cree. Ah. Um. Size. Go. Lee. I think it's worth just quickly pointing out that it's not a mistake that it goes mir, which is six, core, which is seven, tree, which is eight, and then it jumps to ten. That's just the way Keeper works. I've explained it in my other videos. So now we can move on to the sword flying sounds. Let's play the first one. <laughs> This first one is reasonably nice. We've got the Arm Hogarok there, which is 2047. We move that into base 10, it becomes 1501, and that's Banish. And then the Kriegagra is 144, which becomes 121, which is Apothicon. Then the Ul and Lu is encapsulating the subject, and the Lo is a 2. So we're basically saying Banish, and who are we banishing? We're banishing the Apothicons. This one is just straight up messy. We have the tsin and the ya, which indicate that there is a nominalized phrase at present. We've also got the ul lu to encapsulate the subject, so that's fine. However, when the keeper says go a ho, it's 420 go a ho, but the ho is a syllable that should only be used in the middle of a word, and it should end in low if they're trying to get a zero in there. So either that's a mistake on the voice actor's part, or there's something strange afoot with that particular word. Regardless, 420 gives us fear after we convert it to base 10, so we end up with a pretty straightforward little phrase. <laughs> This one is pretty funky. We've got Ul Krigagra Lu, so that's fine, that's the subject being encapsulated and it's the apothecons. But the Kriarsalite is a little different, because if we look at our pronunciation table, Kriarsalite should be 1235, 1235. If we convert that back into base 10, it becomes 923. And there simply isn't a word that we have right now for this 923 number. It just doesn't exist. But we can create the 923 word from two of our prime words, namely 13 and 71. 13 times 71 is 923, and 13 times 71's meanings are resist, repel, fight, and teeth. 
Whether this is actually a close match to the true meaning of that 923 word is kind of hard to say, simply because some words in Keeper are very close matches to what their prime factors suggest, but others deviate fairly far from that original meaning. So we can go out on a limb and say that this is as close as we can get to knowing what this word is, but for now, it's resist, repel, fight, and teeth just sort of smushed together. This, in my opinion, is a really nice one. You've got the one at the beginning there being the subject, so it's one dreams of, in future, being able to banish the Apothecons to the void. This one's pretty lengthy simply because of the fact that Kriatan has four meanings. Bone, metal, solid, and mineral can all be indicated by Kriatan. And then you've also got arm arm there, which has two meanings, volatile and chaotic. And then finally, we have Kriasalite reappearing, which, as I said before, is resist, repel, fight, slash, teeth. I think the meaning that should be coming across here is that the Keeper is sort of reflecting a little, maybe, and saying, my light, my inner sort of power, has the potential to, in the future, unlock the doom of the Apothecons. I am going to bring about their doom. It's once we get to quotes like this where I just start to wonder whether our translation of Kriasalit is actually along the right lines at all, because one can banish in the future the Apothecon's resist, repel, fight teeth just seems like an extremely weird thing for a keeper to say. Although, looking at the grammar, it does actually fit the form that we would expect, so it's not like there is a grammatical inconsistency here necessarily. We've got the nominalized phrase, Tsar Armhogarok Yart, that's fine, and then we've got the thing that that phrase is being applied to, thanks to the low, that's the recipient being indicated, so it's to Kriegagra, which is the Apothecons, and it's basically seemingly saying that one can banish the resistance of the Apothecons, basically saying that they're gonna fight back, but the Keepers are gonna quell that rebellion and crush them. <laughs> This particular quote is the last of this style, after this it's going to switch into this whole good of bad thing that we'll hear in just a moment, but for now, the meaning of this is a little bit ambiguous, and I think that this is really one of those phrases that you translate from its original English into Keeper when you're at Treyarch or whatever, and then the community tries to rebuild it and go back and reverse engineer and translate it back again, essentially, and the meaning just gets really obfuscated, and it's extremely difficult to see the original thread that was the seed, if you like, of the message. But, I mean, one can, in the present tense, continuously evil bad from the void. Uh, a bit of a weird one, like I said, but oh well, it's nothing too bad. <laughs> So, we've got the first of the messages now that starts with Krilo Lucria, which is good of bad. <laughs> yep, it's the intro to these next coming couple of quotes. Interesting introduction to a message saying good of bad, and then one blood and volatile? Okay. Or perhaps it's one blood together with volatile, or presumably one blood with volatility, or something like that. The la there towards the end of the message is what creates that possibility for it to be either and or together with. It kind of just depends on how you interpret the message. I decided to get rid of the background gameplay for this quote just because of the fact that it's so damn messy. This has got to be the most difficult to puzzle out quote that we've had across Shadows of Evil and Der Eisendracher and Zetsubo no Shima, all three of those maps combined. This thing is such a mess for the following reason. We start off with Krilo Lucri R. 
Fine. Good of bad. We talked about that just a moment ago. No problem. We then have an Ulu Krilu, which again is fine. You've got your one there. Slightly different form to the original first messages in this video, but similar to the latter ones that we've been talking about. So that's fine as well. But then you get this Krilasha Ud Amkalit, which is just an absolute pigsty. If we take that Krilasha and split it up into its constituent numbers, we get 153. And if we then convert that to base 10, we get 129. 129 is not a word we know in Keeper. There is no direct translation for 129. So, just like the resist, repel, fight, teeth translation we did earlier, we can look at the prime factors of 129, 129 in base 10, and try and figure out what the building blocks of the word might be. It turns out that it's 3 times 43, and that means that we have a compound meaning of origin or form and hold. Then, we have the same problem for this Amkalit at the end. And the issue here is that the keeper could be saying Amkalit, which would then, if we converted to base 10, give us 176, or they could be saying Amkalit, because it's kind of drawn out when they pronounce it. And that would mean the word is four numbers long, it's 2,125, converting to base 10, that's 1,562, but that's again a word we can't translate. Fantastic! So then we have to look at the prime factors once again, and from that we can derive a close meaning to what the word actually represents, but not quite the literal translation itself. However, there are some similarities between them. Both of them contain two as a prime factor, it's just that 176 contains 2 an extra 3 times, so it's 2 to the power of 4 times 11, which makes opposite and then evil or bad. And then the 1562 is 2, which is the opposite, times 11 times 71. So that's the evil bad misfortune times teeth. Anyway, you're probably getting really bored of me going into the nitty gritty of why this is such a messy message. Let's take a look at what we could get of the meaning itself. Good of bad. One, um, who knows? <laughs> so let's just move on to the next message. Thankfully, this message is really straightforward, so a nice change from the one we just looked at. I just want to specify that the oot here is not a lu because it is following and external to the previous lu, which is part of that ul lu kri lu. That one, pretty simple. And now for our final keeper quote. Of course, it's always nice to end things with a little bit of ambiguity, certainly from Triarch's point of view at least. So the final word here that the keeper says is Kriarlak, I think. It certainly sounds like it ends with that hard K, but it doesn't sound like he's saying Arlark, it sounds more like he's saying Uckbuck. So I don't really know if that's necessarily 100% the right word there, but it's the only thing that fits that hard K at the end. It would have to be maybe Mart or something if it were any other syllable, and as such I reckon this is probably the best translation we are going to get. If you've made it to this point in the video, drop a comment in the chat saying, some apothecon or keeper phrase of your choosing, like Astoth Arogaroth, Waffles Arogwaoth, or whatever you feel like posting down there. Thanks for watching, though, by the way. I really do appreciate it, especially if you've made it all the way through to the end. You to MVP. And hopefully, you've liked the video and subscribed as well. I'll see you next time, no doubt, in more translations. I've got all of Apothecon translated, I've got all of the writing on Shadows and Derizon, and just everything translated at this point, so check out some of those videos on my channel, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.